Now we're gonna head up Sawtooth and Blake and Colvin. And our parking was uh, all booked up just before seven o'clock this morning. Friday was Labor Day weekend. Parked up the road a little bit, maybe half mile. That breeze is supposed to be a nice day, so. Looking forward to a pretty cool hike. Not a bad view, hiking down the road. Or just have a little bit more room. On stable road. Turn here and you got the AMR parking lot is full. It greatly reduced because they closed down the bigger part of it. Yep, almost to the uh, AMR gate in the Lake Road. I'll stop off here real quick. Newmark Trail. And Trailhead is right over here. Some other good destinations. Swampeak Mountain over there. Turn down here by the tennis courts. There's plenty of signs around. Guide the hikers down here. On the road is past the gatehouse. I right, have to keep following this uh, road. You'll pass the sign in register. Some signs here. The big AMR gate. Right around to the right. And hit this road for three and a half miles. And that'll take you up to the bridge up there, the little off by Able Lake. Okay, well, that's our parking area. About a mile to the sign-in register and up this uh, lake road here. This is where we'll come to the dam and cross over it. Actually start hiking up some mountains here. See this bridge looks like they're doing some work on it here recently. See, we're only going to Saucy. We're going a different route from what the normal one is. Pretty interesting. I'm looking forward to this one for a while. As part of this, we're gonna go up and see Rainbow Falls real quick. Go up there, then we'll come back here and take the saw teeth via the scenic trail up that way. Rainfall Falls, not too uh, far of a side trip. I hope it's going okay. It hasn't been a lot of rain, so might not be too impressive right now. Cool little stretch of trail in here. Oh, 
Okay. Still pretty cool. Not a lot of water, but. There it is, Rainbow Falls. Okay, and here we are. The Rainbow Falls. Is impressive. And I hope it shows up in the, uh, the video here. You can see why I thought Rainbow Falls is a rainbow right in the middle. Pretty awesome. Okay, winding along the lake here on the scenic trail. Pretty rocky, but a cool trail. It's a lot more work than uh, going the other way up Sawtooth, but going up this way, uh, a little further up is some really, really great views. Okay, making our way up, I uh, started veering away from the lake a little. She started going up and uh, starting to come up to some of our views here. Here's our first one. Whew. Wow, seemed pretty quick to get up here. Time for a little break, get a snack, something to drink. This is awesome so far. Okay, look out number two. She just passed number one. And this one is pretty amazing also. I think they're all pretty amazing. peaks of the 46 or anything like that. Still a good hike to do is for all the views and stuff. It's, it's incredible. Okay, so uh, some of my first lookout, or my second one wasn't correct. Come across a sign that says Outlook number two, so. I mean, my first one was a uh, 0.5 or something instead of one. I don't know. But we're gonna check them all out. Okay, the real number two out that is somebody down there paddling all stable club members I'm pretty cool I don't stick around at this one too long for just that one right over there oh, I can actually see it right down there all right and on to the next one it's a pretty awesome way to get up here so I haven't gone up the other way yet, but 
something like this way. It's been five or six years since I've been up this way, so. Pretty steep. Oh, I have a little bit of a climb there. All right, number three. That's quite a bit higher than the last one, I know that. Wow, definitely a lot higher. Wow, I'm gonna sit down for a few minutes and take a little break here. Yeah, amazing how high up we're out already. Well, someone's been taking care of this trail. It's got two eroded here, so they built this ladder up here. Nice of them. Getting closer to some of the saw teeth now. Indian head over there, way above that now. Almost as high as uh, Mount Colvin, right over there. Back behind us, still a little bit, a little ways to go. That there's not the summit of saw teeth, I know that. But we have to go up and over that. Uh, it's a little bit higher than that on the other side where you can't see it. Oh, we're pretty close. There's also another uh, side trail to Marble Point, it's called. So that's a pretty good view. I'm gonna check that out too on the way. Okay, this is outlook number four. And we'll head on over to see what the next one is. Most of this trail is pretty steep and rocky. There's just a few little sections that are easy like this right here. As you can see, we got to go up that steep part right there just to go over it to go up even higher past that to the actual summit. So we'll keep going. Okay, up to the junction. Uh, this is pretty close to the summit. I saw teeth here, but we're gonna head over to Marble Point first. I haven't been over there yet. It's only about a quarter mile side trip. It's supposed to be some pretty good views. So. Uh, Cool little trail. Cool cliff right here next to it. Watch out for this mud bog down here. Never know how deep that mud's gonna be.
Okay, it looks like we're coming up on Marble Point here. Let's see if uh, if it lives up to uh, the expectations. Stay back from edge. Be a drop out up off the cliff. I'm not gonna get that close. Wow. Okay. All right. This is worth the views. Very really long side trip. Five minutes maybe. I decided to check me out. I wonder what I'm doing up here. Pretty steep most of the way going this way, but it's worth it. Wind our way to the top of this cliff here, and our ladder. Those in for especially precarious spots. Right. Okay, right after those two ladders, climbed just a little bit and we're at outlook number five. This is the, the fifth outlook before the, the summit here pretty soon. You know, we'll stay away from this uh, edge here. I'm not going to get too close. Pretty steep and hundreds of feet down. And here we are basically at the height of uh, Mount Colvin over there. Okay, we are about at the true summit here. Get through this little muddy bog and there we go. So I'll taste one point one mile. Oh, right through those trees. And going back the way we came. Our uh, parking area, 6.8, but got another half mile after that since I had to park up the road. That one was full. So 7.3 miles back that way. But I was thinking of going down to this warden's camp and doing a whole big loop, but I started off a little bit later than I wanted to this morning. And this is not a very well traveled trail, so I think I'm going to try that another day. That's one I definitely want to do. Not one that people do too much. But let's get on here to the summit and take a little break. Oh, cow, it's windy. How you doing? Oh, how's it going? So we have the summit to ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> you know, are we? At, is yeah. Are we even summit at the summit? Actually, down there or here? Yeah, this is the summit right okay. here. Yep. Look at that. We've been sitting here for a while. <laughs> Discussing philosophy. Of course. <laughs> exactly. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> hey, deciding to make a short day out of this. Uh, just gonna do saw teeth here. Taking a lot of pictures and video and seeing some of the 
side trails along the way, checking out different things. So I'm gonna head down the other way here. Not back the way we came, but down this other way. It's about three quarters of a mile shorter. So not a lot, but a little bit. Well, yeah, I got some pretty good views of the, uh, the upper Great Range peaks from here. That, that is for sure. You can see Haystack over there. Marcy way back there. Basin. Saddleback. Goes down there and then up. Gothic's right there. Pyramid's right in front of Gothic's from here, but kind of gets uh, buried in the view there. But that that's a really cool one right there too. Great views of the rest of them. And over there's Armstrong and some other ones over there, but... I think everybody to head down now. There's a bit good view coming down from Sawteeth. Looking over all the giant slides on Pyramid and over in Gothics behind it. Awesome. Okay, we're at the, the call between Sawteeth and Pyramid and the way down. So I'm gonna head down there. It's tempting to go up to Gothics. It's super scenic and awesome. No matter how many times you go up there. But I'm gonna head out today. Um, 5.8 miles. 5.6, something like that. But instead of parking area and another half mile along the road to my car. Cool getting up here, taking the short way down, taking an easy day today. Trail was a little steep and rocky coming down most of it, but it's kind of a got a lot more mellower right now. And we're at, at kind of the uh, dividing line between state land and AMR land, so we're getting close to being back at the bridge and it's going pretty well. Yeah, on our way down from Sawteeth, here's the top of Rainbow Falls that we saw this morning. And I've seen the top a few times, but it was amazing seeing the, the rest of it down there. Awesome. Alright, 154, we're uh, back to the bridge. Heading down the road, three and a half miles from the bridge to the gate. And it's a half mile down to the one parking lot, then another half mile to my car. And returning. The opposite side of the gate. An awesome view is a giant across the way. Like that about a month ago or so up that ridge. Now pointing one right behind that pine tree right now is a giant snubble or some great views from that. Looking back over to giant and other places. Pretty cool. See if I can get a video of this uh, deer that I just saw across the road. There he is. Hey there, buddy. I'm probably used to seeing hikers and stuff around here. Back up to the main road, like back to the van. Should think you had enough hiking after going up in the mountains and everything all day, but a little road walk here. Not too bad though. 